Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you 10 simple wood projects that make great gifts. Let's begin. And here is a very simple napkin holder. I'm using two pieces of wood. The top is just a 1x2 and the bottom is a 1x6. I have cut this just to fit the size of this napkin. You can customize this to whatever size you want. In the base, I had to drill some holes so I could put a wooden dowel in and I just got it pressed inside. In the top, I had to drill some holes, but these are slightly larger than the base so that they slide over the wooden dowels real easily. And this is real simple, just put your napkins in place. The top piece holds it down so they don't blow away. It's a great way to make a simple napkin holder. Next up is this awesome serving tray that you can use to take to your loved one in bed. This is actually quite simple. I use a single one by four by eight to make this. And I just laid out three lengths that are two feet wide and then cut 10 and a half inch strips that fit across. I screwed in the bottom here this top piece, but you can also glue it in place if you would prefer. But I just countersunk these screws and make sure they sit nice and flush. On the top, these are just some fancy screen door handles. And all together, that makes a really nice serving tray. If you're having a get together or a cool little celebration, here's a great way to display your glasses and your bottle. This right here is just a simple one by six piece of wood that I have cut out a center hold so that it fits over your bottle and then just some slots in it so that it holds the glasses. You put it on top and you carefully put everything in place. As long as everything stays relatively sturdy, it's not gonna fall out. It's a great way to display everything. Here's a great way to make a four base setup to make a cool little display. I'm actually using a one by four that I've cut some holes in so that it fits over these bottles. Now these are not your standard vases. If you were to buy just some standard vases about this size, it would cost you about a dollar a piece, possibly more. But here's a great way to save some money on that. Go to the store and buy one of your favorite chocolatey drinks. And not only do you get the bottles, you get to enjoy some refreshment too. Then you measure everything out and you wanna cut the holes so that they fit just right with your wood here and your bottles, that way they fit all together, and you can take it, and now you can use that as a vase. Once you get them all set up in exactly the way to want it, you can glue these together, or you can put some brad nails in, and that'll hold everything nice and secure, and that's a great way to use a refreshing drink to make a cool vase setup. And next up is a very simple wall-mounted candle holder. This right here was actually a piece of old pallet wood that I liked because it gave it kind of that rustic look. But you don't have to use that. You can use a simple, probably about a one by four to make this work. For the shelf here, I just put a candle up there, measured up size, and made it a little bit larger so I can move it around if I'd like. On the bottom down here for support, I just cut a 90 degree angle. And you can either glue this in place or you can just brad nail it in place, whatever you choose. Put a hook on the back and now you can hang this in a wall. And it makes an awesome little wall mounted candle holder. Next up is this awesome wooden spoon holder. It's actually quite simple. This right here is just some metal pipe straps or one inch size. Now you can leave these metallic or you can easily paint these whatever color you would like. On the back is just a simple one by three that I've cut to just the length to fit the spoons and you can make this any size you want, length you want. You can use different types of wood or even just different type of straps. But in overall, it's a very simple design. Great thing about this is you can hook this on a wall and whether in your kitchen or just on display. It's a great way to make a wooden spoon holder. Now here's a very simple shelf that you can build for your bedroom or your office. This is a one by three and a one by four. You attach it to the wall and then you can throw your phone up there. You can attach your keys under there. Yes, they're just hanging. The great thing about this, on the bottom, I have three simple magnets. There's those real strong magnets, and you just attach your keys to it, and they'll just hang, and that way you don't have to worry about losing your keys. You can throw your wallet up here, your phone up here. I'm actually going to install this in my office so that it's a great way I can throw my phone up, and I don't have to worry about misplacing it. Now this is a simple little tool holder that you can make for your father, for your son. What you wanna do is take a two by four, and you wanna drill you some holes. Make sure all these holes are all the same depth so your tools sit about the same for each one. And then just place them in and rearrange them so they fit best. And there you go. Very simple, very easy. If you like using tea lights, here's an awesome little holder for you. 
Now this is just a two by four that I've drilled some holes in. I used a Forstner bit to drill the right size. You just take the T lights and you drop them right in. Now you can light these up and you don't have to worry about anybody knocking them around. Those should stay nice and sturdy right there in the wood and it makes a great little display. And last but definitely not least is this cool clock that my wife made me. It's very simple, it's just a tree that's been cut in half and sanded really, really smooth on the back and front. And then she took a drill and drilled a hole right through the center and put the clockworks, which you can just purchase at your local craft store. Then she took some time to print off a bunch of labels, put them all in a number places, and I really like the, the truck that's right in the center too. Thank you, honey, this was a great gift, and I currently have it hanging on my wall. Now if you enjoyed these projects, make sure you click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments, and as always, have fun building!